Hello everyone, Dr. Friend here. Today we will discuss a very important topic called stroke or heart attack. What is this stroke? That means blood is not flowing to your brain. What is this heart attack? It's nothing but blood is not flowing to your heart. Before you understand what is stroke, what is heart attack, you should understand how your body system is working. This heart, this arterial system and the venous system. What your heart does, it will pump the blood that is oxygenated the blood with nutrients, a good blood. Before understanding what is stroke and uh, what is heart attack, you should understand that your entire body, your brain, your heart, your lungs, your kidneys, your arms, your skin, your legs, every organ of your body, even your kidneys, every organ of your body needs oxygenated blood for oxygen and nutrition to proper fun functioning. To distribute this pure blood, your heart will pump the blood in arteries. What are the function of arteries? These like pipelines, like, like tubular structures which will carry a oxygenated, a pure blood from the heart to your entire body. How it pushes the blood? It has a muscular layer. It has three layers. One is inner layer is called intima and middle layer is called muscular layer and outer is fibrous layer. So these muscles will contract, the blood will push forward so it is distributed in your body. What is the function of the veins? Once the oxygenated or pure blood has been used by these organs, this blood has to reach the heart again for purification. This is carried with the help of veins. These are these also a tubular structures. This will carry the impure blood to your heart. But if you compare artery and vein, artery is thick wall which is muscular whereas veins which has very less number of uh, muscles, it is mainly fibrous layer. So the process of, process of this heart attack or the stroke whatever it is it is starting in arteries see what exactly happens in your arterial system so that blood is not flowing to your organs not only the heart other organs the first process is inflammation or irritation this starts in your arteries as i told you artery has three layers intima inner layer middle layer and outer layer in this middle layer or muscular layer this process of inflammation or irritation will start why this irritation or inflammation will happen? The first thing is because of stress. Stress may be any kind of stress, your family stress, house stress, whatever the stress if you take, your cortisol level will increase. It will start a process called inflammation in your arterial wall. Second thing, if you are obese, if you are obese, then again inflammatory process in your artery will start. Third thing, if you have insulin resistance, that means about to get diabetes, Fourth, if you are diabetic, on insulin resistance, I have given you a detailed description in my video. I have, a, I have given you a link below. You can watch it. The fifth thing is no physical activity. If you are not doing physical activity. The sixth thing is if you are smoking since long time, then this will start an inflammatory process in your artery. The sixth thing is alcohol. If you are taking too much of alcohol, inflammatory process will start in your artery. The seventh thing is junk food especially the fried items like fried chicken, french fries, all process or junk foods will start inflammatory process. The ninth thing is high carbohydrates or unhealthy foods, whatever the unhealthy foods you are taking, this will start a inflammatory process. Don't think that this is only happening in one or two days. This is a long process. Even sometimes it may start in your childhood when your nutrition is not good or in your adolescent when your nutritional or physical activity is not good. Next, once this inflammatory process starts, as you know, your body has a self-defense mechanism. Your body has been created by God in a such a miraculous way that it will start resisting, it will start opposing. So what happens? Your blood has cholesterol. Pro cholesterol, don't think that it is bad. Every day, your body will secrete around 3000 milligrams of cholesterol. This cholesterol is a protective. It will go and deposit around this inflammation to prevent its spread or prevent that further damage. So it goes and blocks this inflammation. This has to be removed because it cannot go out from on its own. Your body will send a another cell called macrophage. This macrophage will go and it will start eating the cholesterol. Once it started eating the cholesterol, it will become a balloon shape, a foamy cell. Initially, it keeps on removing the cholesterol. But if the inflammatory process continues, like you are taking your junk food, smoking, alcohol and everything, this inflammatory process will become continuous. So these macrophages and this cholesterol keeps on accumulating. Once they keep on accumulating, 
they may disturb the normal blood flow to prevent this your body will send calcium and fibrin to form a cement like if you have crack in the wall you are doing cementing similarly your body will send calcium and fibrin to cement this plug where you have deposition of cholesterol and you have foam cells and this calcium and fibrin this together we call it as a plug which will make your artery thick so this is plug this plug keeps on blocking your artery now the plug has two ways either it will burst open or it will totally close your artery what happens if it is burst if it burst same like if you have cut wound your blood will clot similarly if this plug burst your blood cells platelets rbcs and everything start accumulating they will form a clot this will obstruct the blood flow so now you will have stroke or you may have heart attack thing is this plug will keep on increasing in size it will block your artery so you may have stroke or you may have heart attack so not only stroke and heart attack blood flow to your kidney you will have kidney failure if it stop blood flow to your pancreas you may have diabetes you may have pancreatic dysfunction if it stops the blood flow to your uh, limbs like lower limbs or hands your fingers and your toes and everything will keeps on necrosis that means they keep on dying why there is no blood flow the basically the take home message for you is this stroke or heart attack it's not an immediate process it's starting from very long time you can prevent it by focusing on your proper nutrition healthy nutrition and your physical activity and stopping all your bad habits like smoking alcohol and many junk foods and many other things in my coming video i'll be giving you a detailed description how naturally by natural way you can prevent the plug formation and if you have already formed an plug how you can diagnose it and what you what you can do about it how you can clean your arteries in a natural way and guys if you have any other doubts related to any other topics write in my comment box i'll try to help you if you find my video informative like share and subscribe thank you